Hey guys, so today I did a really fun wintry, sort of like angelic, sparkly look for parties or for any time. Um, you may notice I skipped my Victoria's Secret tutorial this year and I was asking you all about it on Twitter. I've done it for the past four years, it's crazy. Um, and I just kind of found that this year the makeup looked so similar to all the previous years that it was just something that I just did not want to do. I figured that instead of wasting another video on that, which if you want a look similar to that, check out my past four. <laughs> They're all very similar and very similar to what I would do this year. Um, but I figured instead of wasting, you know, another video slot for that, I would do a holiday look. And I really have been wanting to do this. It's a very light, white, wintry sparkle. I love it so much. I hope that you guys do too. So today I'm doing a complete holiday party look. I'm going to show you my outfit. I'm showing you my makeup. Before I get started, I will show you my outfit. I have some more information on this top that all of you asked about so much when um, I posted my Forever 21 haul about it, but I do have some information about it. The style number and everything and the exact name posted below. Pretty much when I posted my video a couple weeks ago, um, a lot of you were saying they were already sold out and I couldn't find them on the website so I was thinking that they probably were already sold out but since I'm wearing it again I wanted to give you as much information as I could because they could come back in stock. So I'm going to show you my makeup and everything. It's going to be like a regular tutorial as always um, but first I'm going to show you my outfit. Alright so here is the top. I came downstairs. It was a little easier. This is the little den or our little formal living room I guess um, where Brad has all of his game stuff and our family room's in there, but I will do like a holiday video tour, which is coming soon. Alright, so for my hair, I do have a tutorial on that. I will link to that below. Um, the top I told you about, I really think that it's fun for the holidays, instead of going for just an easy dress, to maybe do something that's a little more funky with like some full leatherish pants, some heels, rather than just throwing on a sweet dress, which is fun and perfect for a lot of holiday parties, and I'll probably do some more looks like that. But I do like to do more of like pants, tops, like a put together outfit. If that makes sense, um, that's more my style. So this is the top I told you about. With all the embellishment, I kept my jewelry very simple. Um, and then I love these pants. They're kind of like full leatherish looking. And they're kind of like a brownish tan, really pretty. And then I paired those with black shoes because this color of like brownish tan is really, really nice paired with black. And these shoes are by Pour La Vitoire. I tried. Um, I will post all of the details and stuff um, on my blog. Um, but I love these shoes. They're in a suede, which is perfect for this time of year. So yeah, I think this outfit is really fun. I think it's a little different and um, it's still kind of funky and like holiday-ish at the same time. I always post collective outfit of the days. Um, this one obviously I'm going to list in the video description, but, um, but yeah, check my blog for outfit of the days and I will be doing a lot more holiday looks. So but yeah, to me this one is very simple but still really put together and I really, really like it. Okay. Alright, so keep watching and I'll show you how I did the makeup and everything else. Alright, so the first thing that I'm going to do is apply a creamy, sort of frosted, whitish base. I'm using the Maybelline Color Tattoo in Too Cool. And I'm going to use this P84 brush by Sigma. I just get it in the product and apply that all over my lid and then use the pointy part of the brush and kind of get it into your inner corner. Kind of run it all along this area. And along the brow bone as well, because that area is going to be pretty light too. I'm using my defining eyes kit for this look. I'm mainly using these two colors to achieve the lightness. This color halo is more frosted, and I'm going to use that more on the lid and inner corner. And beam is more of um, sort of like a matte base with sparkle, really, really pigmented. And I'm going to use that on my brow bone. So I'm going to take the brush that comes with it, the E55, and take halo, the color on top, and I'm going to dab that all over my lid. Get a little bit more on the brush, put it right on that inner corner. If you want a really lightened inner corner, you can take the white pencil that comes with the kit and you can trace along that, but it's already pretty white. I find that I really don't need that for this look. You can take that same brush or you can take a more rounded blending brush. This is an E40. And I'm going to take the beam shade that I showed you color on the bottom and I'm just going to trace along my brow bone right there. You can also take that same brush that we used before and you can use that beam shade that we just used. Trace that along the lower lash line. We're going to darken that up in a minute but at least you'll have that sort of whitish 
glow around the dark color. I want to keep the other colors that we use really cool. We're sticking with grays. So I'm going to use these two colors, fog and smoke. I'm going to start with smoke and I'm going to take the other end of the little brush that comes with the kit, the E30, get the smoke on there. And I'm just going to trace it along my lash line at first. And then kind of flip the brush like this and start blending it upward on the lid. Alright, then you're going to take the fog shade, the darker gray that I just showed, and you're going to put that on the end of that same E30 brush and now you're going to trace right along the lash line. We're not blending this one up much like we did the other shade, we're just darkening right at the lash line. And then take that same shade and the same brush, follow it right along your lower lash line. You can leave it like that for sure, but what I like to do is take that same blending brush that we used before, or you can use the little brush that we were just using, the E55, and take that smoke shade again, this one right here, um, that shade right there, the lighter one that we used a minute ago. Get just a bit of it on the brush and just lightly follow the outer crease. We don't want to go in too far. This is just going to define your crease a little bit without taking down the white. Alright, then I'm taking the blackout liner that's in the kit and the EO5 brush, which, which comes with it, and lightly draw a line right at your lashes, just on the upper. Now for the sparkle, whenever I have a look that calls for some extra sparkle, I always use this Tarina Tarantino Sparklicity Powder. This is what the lid looks like. It's really, really good stuff. It looks pink in the container, but no matter what color you're layering it with, it kind of takes on that color. It's just perfect. So what I like to do is I get a flat brush like this. This is an E60. And I just pick it up straight from the container, dab it off just a little bit, and before you do that, I should have showed you, um, what I do to get like loose glitter or loose sparkle to stick is I take a makeup setting spray like this, one that isn't just like a water spray, like the, Max, the MAC Fix Plus doesn't have a whole lot of extra ingredients in it other than the water itself. You want something to have like some binding ingredients in it that's going to really hold the product. So I just shut my eyes and I spray it once right on my eye and then I pat the glitter on or the sparkle or whatever I'm using. It's a really great tip when you're applying glitter or a sparkle powder that's loose above already done eyeshadow because you can't apply like a goopy product to make it stick on top of your already done eyeshadow. Sticking with the sparkly theme for my eye or for my mascara I'm using the L'Oreal Million Lashes um, or Voluminous Million Lashes Diamonds. It has a subtle sparkle to it And you can definitely line your waterline with a white. This is the Brighten Up pencil from the kit. I'm using the white end. I do this after mascara because sometimes if you're using white, especially um, when you do your lower lashes, it can coat the white. I'm slightly applying that to my waterline. And that's it for the eyes. If you want to see how I completed the look with blush and my lip color, then keep watching. Alright, so if you want to keep your skin looking really kind of like paled out and kind of go with the whole like white like frosted look then don't go with a lot of bronzer I skipped it today I'm gonna go with just a really rosy blush give your cheeks kind of like a rosy like wintry like you know glow and I'm using the Tarte Amazonian clay blush in fantastic gives your cheeks the perfect wintry rosiness and then I'm gonna use this Too Faced Candlelight it's a highlighting powder and I'm going to use a small brush like this. It's the F55. Right where the blush meets the top of my cheekbones, I just kind of overlap that. 
For my lips, I already applied the color. I used the NARS New Lover. This is the Velvet Gloss Lip Pencil. I love this stuff so much. I can't say enough great things about it. This would work any time of year with any look. It's just perfect. And then I applied just a little bit of gloss on top of it to make it look a little frosted and just give it a little more pop. And I used the MAC Nymphet, which is like the perfect layering gloss. It go, you can layer this over any color and it looks gorgeous. Just a little bit on my bottom lip. Alright guys, so that's it. I hope that you enjoyed it. As always, you can go on over to my blog. There is an accompanying blog post that is linked below, as always, with tutorials. So you can get a list of products that I use, products that I didn't show in the video, like foundation and like eyebrow stuff. Um, so go on over there if you missed anything. And I hope that you guys will try this out and that you enjoyed it. And I'll talk to you all very soon. Bye.